Hello, today's video we have the following content. The two stars are completely different. The desire of actors to improve their skills is a positive attitude. Winning audience recognition through superb acting in works lays a solid foundation for the promotion of movies. However, some actors may despise this process and need to know that every job needs to be taken seriously. Actors who change careers are eager to get involved in the field of directing, which seems to be too hasty. Directors need deep professional knowledge, which cannot be replaced by popular acting skills. Some actors' acting skills are questioned, but they still devote themselves to the directing career, which makes people question their ability and determination. Later, Zhang Han firmly took the path of a professional actor and took on many works, all of which were warmly loved by the audience. His handsome youth idol drama appearance has become his unique label, but it has also attracted doubts. The audience began to wonder whether Zhang Han can only handle such roles. Zhang Han's works are rich in variety, ranging from ancient costumes to modern ones. Although the characters are diverse, most of them show the dual charm of his talent and strength. Although the role type seems to be single, he can interpret this image deeply into the hearts of the people, which is enough to prove his superb acting skills. Although Zhang Han is presented with a single element in the work, his acting skills are still highlighted. As an actor, adapting to multi-theme works is the key to avoid the monotony of the character image. However, Zhang Han's performance in the work has not yet reached an excellent level and still needs to be improved. However, Zhang Han did not introspect because of this. Instead, he was confident that his fame and acting skills were enough to support a personal work. So he had the idea of becoming a director and began to write and create his favorite script, hoping to show his talent. This work has gone through twists and turns and was difficult to produce because it involved Korean actresses and the Korean restriction order. Despite the setbacks in his first production, Zhang Han did not give up his dream of being a director and continued to strive to pursue a higher level of film and television creation. Two years later, in 2018, Zhang Han appeared again with his new work If Paris Is Not Happy. Drawing on the experience of the previous work, he moved the story background to the romantic capital of Paris, France. Zhang Han put a lot of effort into the preparation of the entire work. After two years of preparation and four months of shooting, he finally finished the filming in Paris. The work was released in China and received wide acclaim. Zhang Han put a lot of effort into the preparation of the entire work. From publicity planning to shooting site, from prop preparation to video editing, he did it all himself. He strives for perfection in every detail of the work and strives to perfectly present his creativity. However, the media's evaluation was a bit sharp, which made Zhang Han feel a little disappointed. The work is based on the novel of the same name and focuses on the lingering love story of the hero and heroine. The illegal behavior of the heroine in the original work has been adapted, which makes the plot seem ambiguous. In the later period, the responsibility of the rise and fall of the Enterprise was handed over to the interns who had not graduated, which was puzzling. The media commented that this work focused too much on romance and lacked the tense atmosphere of business war, which made it transparent among many works. Although the first shooting was not satisfactory, the second shooting gave Zhang Han hope, but the failure of the third work became the biggest failure. In 2022, Zhang Han's work Gentlemen of East District 8 appeared on the screen again, but the quality of the work was far below the standard. The lines were greasy and awkward, which made people uncomfortable. What's more shocking is that the male protagonist played by Zhang Han in the play has obvious scenes of disrespecting women, which has caused widespread controversy. After this setback, netizens' expectations of Zhang Han have disappeared, and his subsequent works are inevitably affected. His obvious disrespect for women in the play may cause a large number of fans to lose. If Zhang Han had invested his energy in improving his acting skills earlier, today's situation might have been avoided. Su Sandro in Soldier Assault is tenacious, Fan Yuxiu in One Man's Martial Arts is highly skilled in martial arts, and Tang Ren in Detective Chinatown is funny and nonsensical. Wang Bei Okiang used these roles to show his acting skills and prove that he is a versatile actor. Wang Bei Okiang knows that success is not easy, and his road to directing is also full of ups and downs. In 2016, the movie A Chinese Odyssey directed by him suffered a bad reputation and won the Golden Broom Award. However, Wang Bei Okian was not discouraged. He took the stage with sincere apologies and expressed his regret and determination to the audience. From the question Golden Broom to the best film, Wang Bei Okian's counterattack was full of hardships. In the interview, he was grateful for the support of the audience and said that this would become the driving force for his future creation. 
Now that his masterpiece has finally been recognized, he frankly said that this is a promise to give back to the audience. Wang Bei Okiang's success is not accidental. He has always adhered to the professional qualities of an actor and has not forgotten his original intention after transforming into a director. He often shares his debut experience to help young actors grow. This spirit is worthy of respect. The film and television industry needs more directors and actors like Wang Bei Okiang. Next news. The Long River of the World, if Luo Jin is a little bit lame, he can't suppress these supporting actors with explosive acting skills. November has always been a low tide for domestic film and television dramas. After the grand occasion of many popular works in the summer season, the topic of domestic drama seems to be a little quiet during this period. However, even in this context, there are still many excellent works emerging and meeting the audience's schedule. As soon as the TV series The Long River of the World appeared on the screen, it surpassed the crowd with the ratings of more than 0.5 after only two episodes were broadcast, and it firmly sat on the throne of the ratings champion of the prime time of satellite TV. In terms of audience reputation, it has also received rave reviews and achieved a good start, showing its outstanding strength and charm. The internet has been abuzz with discussions, with some netizens praising. From the trailer, we can see that the crew spared no effort to dig up a yellow river and spent five months carefully arranging the scene. The picture quality in the play is excellent. Some viewers also commented, in the plot about being an official, the personality characteristics of the three characters are portrayed vividly, and their views on the way of being an official are different. In short, the long river of the world undoubtedly meets the expectations of the audience in terms of the texture of the work and the charm of the plot. However, apart from these, the actors are undoubtedly the core and essence of the play. From the perspective of the selected subject matter alone, countless audiences are deeply attracted to this work, largely because the characters portrayed by the actors are vivid and deeply rooted in the hearts of the people, which is moving. Luo Jin is often portrayed as an introverted image in the minds of the public, and is more suitable for interpreting the role of a gentle and modest gentleman. Even in the work Crane Hooting, the crown prince he played was inevitably suppressed. In the play, he faithfully fulfilled his duties as a minister and son, but was still suspected by the emperor. What the audience felt from him was not the majesty and courage of the emperor, but the helplessness and sadness brought by living in the emperor's family. Before the broadcast of The Long River of the World, the audience did not have too many high hopes for the role of Kangxi interpreted by Luo Jin. However, to everyone's surprise, Luo Jin quickly attracted attention with his superb acting skills as soon as he appeared, and successfully kept the audience's heart in the play. The Yellow River flooded and the river was severely damaged. Hundreds of thousands of soldiers on the front line were starving, but the food and grass support in the rear was delayed. Emperor Kangxi, played by Luo Jin affectionately, was full of anxiety and anger. However, the so-called officials around him would only comfort themselves with the excuse of it's hard to violate the destiny of heaven. Emperor Kangxi couldn't help but ask back helplessly, destiny. This sentence is not only a sarcastic response to those incompetent officials, but also reveals his self-mockery and helplessness deep in his heart. These two words are concise but profound, revealing Kangxi's inner indomitable spirit and indignation. Officials may play tricks and perfunctorily fulfill their duties, but Kangxi will never tolerate it. He roared angrily, God has given me the mission of governing China, not to let us withdraw from Shan Hagbin in disgrace. At the moment of saying this line, Luo Jin's eyes became sharp and full of anger, his whole face was twisted and red due to the effort, and the bloodshot in his eyes revealed his inner unwillingness and anger. In this line, Luo Jin showed the extraordinary spirit of the king with his superb acting skills. He cleverly portrayed the sobriety and rationality of the character, making people feel his deep doubts about destiny. He will never blindly believe in the so-called destiny, and will not easily pin the life and death of the frontline soldiers and the future of the Quang dynasty on illusory prophecies. There is no doubt that in addition to the outstanding performance of the leading actor Luo Jin, the supporting actors in The Long River of the World are also extraordinary actors. If the role of Kangxi did not have its own dazzling aura, and Luo Jin's acting skills were not so stable and brilliant, then Luo Jin would probably find it difficult to stand out among these many excellent supporting roles and hold his ground. Among the many roles, Jin Fu, played by Wang His Hong, has undoubtedly become a shining star. He is upright and selfless as an official, has a noble character, and exudes a calm demeanor in his behavior. When the Yellow River flooded and the people were panicked, it was Jin Fu who stepped forward and stabilized the people's hearts with firm beliefs and decisive actions. 
He encouraged those people who were on the verge of collapse to cheer up again, hold tools in hand, and jointly resist the invasion of floods. When he appeared, he was dressed in a majestic official robe, with a sharp gaze, standing resolutely, building a line of defense with his body to block the surging water, and fighting side by side with the people in simple cloth clothes, and fighting together. At this moment, those greedy river officials were only concerned with worshipping at home, bribing and arranging things everywhere, deceiving their superiors, perfunctorily doing their duties, and even trying to use Jin Fu as a scapegoat to deal with the matter. In the end, this brave and courageous loyal minister failed to escape the trick of fate. He was deprived of his official uniform, his hands were tied, and he was forced to go to Beijing. It was heartbreaking that he was accused of embezzling public funds for river management and became a prisoner. The next scene can be said to be Wang His Hong's highlight moment in the play. Ming's who shouldered the imperial order to try the heinous corruption case. At this time, Wang His Hong, under the camera, had messy hair and raindrops dripping down. Although his image was embarrassed, he revealed a common majestic spirit when he spoke. He asked back, what is the use of money? His voice revealed firmness and determination. He did not beg or defend himself, but instead took this opportunity to introduce a genius in river management to Emperor Kangxi. Under Wang Hong's superb performance, life and death seem to have become a passing cloud, but what he holds onto in his heart is the lofty mission of serving the country and the people, which is the true meaning of his existence. In Mai Yang Wan who is rich acting career, the role of Di Rinji is undoubtedly his most acclaimed masterpiece, but his acting skills are by no means limited to portraying the image of the detective who sees everything. In the work The Long River of the World, he cleverly portrayed the character of Suoe Tu, who seems to be honest and simple on the surface, but is actually deep-minded and greedy. He can show one face in front of people and another face behind them, showing a completely different two-sided personality. In the scene of the first episode, Emperor Kangxi, played by Luo Jin, is furious about the thorny problems of floods and shortages of fodder. At the same time, Suoe Tu kneels beside him, soaked in sweat. The camera zooms in, and beads of sweat can be seen rolling down his forehead, and his heart is full of fear. How can he not be afraid? After all, the governor of the river who caused the trouble was the one he promoted. In the play, Wang Buangai was the governor of the river, greedily grabbing huge profits, all of which are seen by so too. Now, the Yellow River floods have broken out, and the governor of the river is in trouble. So too is eager to distance himself from him. He proposed that Wang Guangai should be executed as soon as possible to shut him up and achieve the purpose of self-protection. In this wonderful performance, Bai Yang Wan who has skillfully integrated So Tu's subtle psychology into every subtle movement and expression. The fierce debate between him and Ming Su not only highlights his from pursuit of justice, but also inadvertently reveals his firm determination to severely deal with Wang Guangai. That subtle little expression seems to be a portrayal of his inner thoughts, and people can't help but be impressed by his superb acting skills. In terms of character setting, Ming Su and So Tu, interpreted by Gong Lei, are both core assistants in the Kangxi dynasty. The reason why Kangxi favored Ming Su was actually to balance So Tu's power and form a subtle balance of power. Compared with So Tu, Ming Su is better at guessing the emperor's intentions and using wisdom to see through people's hearts, thus consolidating his position in the court. In the play, this character feature is vividly displayed through dramatic techniques. In the wonderful rivalry with Luo Jin, Ming Su, played by Gong Lei, kneels on the ground, while Kang Si sits cross-legged leisurely, looking down at him with a sharp gaze. Ming Su knows that hastily killing Wang Guangai is not good for the overall situation, and may cause future generations to criticize the emperor for cruel means and incompetent river management. As soon as this was said, Kang Si's face changed suddenly, and Ming Su readily changed the subject and took the lead in confessing his guilt, I know that I am deeply guilty, please punish me, your majesty. Emperor Kangxi would naturally not be easily manipulated by his ministers. He accepted Ming Su's suggestion and decided to put Wang Guangai's punishment on hold for the time being. When someone came forward to impeach him one day, Kangxi cleverly let Ming Su take the responsibility and demoted his official position by two levels. After the storm subsided, he restored Ming Su's position and gave him a yellow jacket as a sign of favor. Since the emperor had already spoken, Ming Su naturally could not refuse, so he had to force a smile, with a trace of embarrassment on his face. After a brief hesitation, he gritted his teeth, slowly moved forward a few steps, and carefully approached the emperor's bed. He then put on a happy look and smiled flatteringly, Your Majesty, I am willing to perform a good play of Zhou Yu fighting Wang Gai with Your Majesty, 
Please be at ease. It was this scene that fully demonstrated Ming's who's insight into people's hearts and smooth dealings. Compared with the tough guy and boss image that Gong Lei had previously created on the screen, this performance style is unique and forms a sharp contrast. In short, in addition to the fascinating plot, the drama The Long River of the World is more worth mentioning for the superb performances of the actors. The main actors successfully portrayed the distinct personalities of their respective roles. Their performances collided and complemented each other, making each character a highlight in the eyes of the audience. In The Long River of the World, Luo Jin, as the male lead, is certainly the highlight of the show. However, from the depth of the plot, it is not difficult to find that those shining supporting roles also occupy a pivotal position, which makes Luo Jin's performance also face considerable challenges. Looking at the overall situation, if it were not for the extraordinary charm of the role of Kangxi and Luo Jin's superb acting skills, it would be difficult for him to steadily control the group of powerful actors around him with superb acting skills. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 